Okay, another try. So we're all set, right? Okay. Good. Hopefully. So now we are trying to jump into the game, and uh, it's of course a game which requires quite a lot of thinking, but uh, you try the best you can do to tr explain what you're doing. Yep, yeah, I'll see what I can do. So, uh, for the early access version that's uh, releasing on the 28th of September, uh, we're gonna have uh, the single battle mode uh, working with three different varieties, from small battles through medium battles to large ones. And also you will be able to customize uh, the battle to your preferences. So as you can see here with the small battle, it's a, you know, a tiny formation with just one AI escort assisting you. And of course the scale of the battle increases yeah, with each step. Um, I think I, what I can show you is uh, the first few minutes of a medium battle. So it's a total of 20 ships, uh, 20 merchant ships in the convoy with a total of three escort ships, including our destroyer protecting it, right? So uh, let's give it a go. All right, so uh, we're on the bridge and uh, there are lots of different stations in the game. The bridge is where you control your destroyer, uh, destroyer's maneuvers. So the engines and the steering, of course. And here's a very important Search device uh, that is contact. the target bearing, bearing indicator. Zero, eight, zero, uh, one additional difficulty that you have given yards. me is that I can't really hear the sound. And a lot of the information in the game is conveyed zero, through eight, uh, zero, audible uh, reports. 5, yeah? The crew reports to you uh, about uh, target bearing Nine, and distance. Eight, so I will do my best to read through it. Right? But, okay. So, uh, you can uh, scroll the... I mean, you can pan the camera around. So you can appreciate the, the graphics. And uh, of course, this can also uh, mm, help your uh, awareness. All right, so we're already under attack, most probably. Yeah, we have two U boat contacts. So these are radar contacts, you can see them uh, on the screen. So, what I'm gonna do is to focus on one of them, yeah, and attack them. So let's check the tactical view. That's something that we didn't have in the demo yet. So let's see. I'm gonna send Mounty to attack this guy here. This and I'm gonna deal the with the, the other Roger. contact myself. Mounty. Yeah, let's contact. leave Antler here on station contact. and uh, bears yeah, scan Eight. the left Four. flank. The resolution has gone down Taylor considerably. Degrees left. So. I hope we're getting a good picture quality because, yeah, ah, doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on contact Baker, which is a radar contact at this point. We're going to speed up, yeah, and we're already uh, changing course to, um, to intercept him. And in the meantime, I'm going to start engaging him with gunfire. Yeah, so now our guns are being trained on the target. You can observe that here in this view. So let's fire a few rounds. It's not as much to damage him because we probably won't hit him at this distance. But what I want... Ah, can you, can you see him over there? Yeah. Yes, how did you control the distance you shoot? Uh, you know, I engaged the targeting radar because, you know, it was already uh, that they had very good targeting devices yeah, for the gun battery. So now he has gone under the surface. So what I need to know from the radar man, yeah, so last bearing of our target was 281, right? So what I'm going to do now is to order a search arc and hopefully we're gonna catch him with our sonar, yeah? Because once he goes under, we need to switch to the sonar. And, yeah, we've got a new sonar contact, right? So, let's see. So we receive this information in the text. 
Yes, it would be best if we could hear it clearly, yeah, but okay, it doesn't really matter. So let's check the tactical view again. Okay, yeah. So as you can see, I'm talking too much and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, right? So uh, I overshot the turn We and we've got another contact, yeah, that's contact Charlie right here. So what I want to do is to focus on this guy, right? So uh, he's already underwater. And we've got him at 282, range 2,200 yards. And you can see these dark traces being burned on the special paper by our tactical range recorder. And the way this graph is leaning to the left, you can see the scale here. So we are closing the distance, right? So here's our target bearing indicator. I want our target to be in front of the bow, ahead of the bow. That means that I'm going in the right direction. So. Now I'm gonna start our attack approach and you can observe how the target is moving, yeah? So this is the so-called DRT, Dead Reckoning Tracer, and the um, uh, DRT officer is now marking uh, subsequent uh, enemy positions. So now 1,400 yards. So we are in the middle. Yes, we are in the middle of this so-called light bug. And here's the compass rose that allows us to see um, the compass bearings. Yeah? Okay, let's see. Okay, Baker now at 282, right? So let's see, we need to adjust because, you know, he's moving to our left, right? Okay, I'm gonna lower our speed a bit and I could hear the sonar man report on his depth which is shallow at this point so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arm the depth charges and I'm gonna keep observing how our uh, contact is moving so right now at 272 700 so I can do that manually if I so wish 272 700 yards so somewhere around here. So, yeah, we're getting there. We also have a so-called OSC for close range hunting. And uh, a new feature we've added uh, that was requested by a lot of players to be able to control the destroyer's maneuvers via keyboard from every station. So that's what I have done just now. And if I keep uh -huh, going like this, I should be able to go over him and drop my charges. And yes, it's almost time, yeah? Because if this is aligned properly, yeah? Now, when it goes below this firing line, this called so-called firing line, I ought to be able to hit him if I did it right, yeah? But, you know, it's a, it's a tough thing to do, like in real life. And you can observe the depth charges dropping uh, in this view, but I don't think it was a perfect attack by any means. Again, uh, we have been working a lot on the AI and now even close misses will make the U-boat dive deeper, it will mm, uh, uh, rel relinquish it attack attempts for some time. So, uh, let's move back to the tactical station. You can see how the situation is unfolding, yeah? So Contact Charlie probably wants to attack our right flank. Mounty is engaging Contact Able. And I'm doing my best to keep Contact Baker suppressed. And uh, I'm, I will try not to let him reach our convoy's left flank. And the thing is, the U-boats preferred to attack from the side to have a big target for the torpedoes, right? So now, I have most likely lost contact. Let me see. So what I want to do now is to regain contact. Yeah, lost contact Baker at 236, right? 236 is somewhere around here. And you can see the way he was going was like this, right? So what I can assume at this point is that I should point the sonar the other way. Yeah? And, you know, the system, the 360-degree bearing system, it appears on all the devices, yeah? So if you understand how it works, then you essentially understand how the game works. Yeah, I'm gonna slow down, and what I'm gonna do now is to attempt to re-establish contact. So at 8.34 he was here, and at 8.35 he was there. 
Yeah. So I'm absolutely fascinated by how detailed this is, and I think I could uh, watch quite a while longer, but. Um, just, uh, just as a warning, unfortunately we spent too much time debugging sound problems. We must already come to an end because the next uh, time slot is approaching. But still, let's see what we can do. There he is. There he is. I regained contact. So this is what I told you about, you know, uh, target motion analysis and uh, being able to, uh, uh, to, to de deduce. Yeah, the w uh, I thought that, okay, since he was first here, and then there, and he wants to go from here to here and attack, yeah? So I can make very educated guesses, yeah? And using the equipment and tracking that uh, it allows me to, to, uh, to, to do, I can, you know, uh, make all sorts of maneuvers to uh, engage the enemy. And of course, I can also now call Antler to help me. Antler. And this we can uh, we can have this so-called coordinated attack. Yeah. So he can feed his sonar info to me if I lose contact. And, you know, there are all sorts of ways you can coordinate your, uh, your force. But in, you know, in general, this RTS um, this RTS uh, strata of the game is not terribly complicated. Yeah, it requires some sound decisions. I can also, you know, clear this up a bit, yeah, so it doesn't get too clogged. And, you know, we also have air support that will arrive at some point and you will be able to attack the, the guys with air support too. So I think uh, this gives you a general idea of how the game works. And of course, as the battle unfolds, there will be further uh, waves of U-boats attacking. And at some point you will need to uh, you will need to negotiate be between attacking the new wave and keeping the other, the previous waves in check because they will attempt to re-engage, right? So yeah, that's basically how it works. And uh, we are polishing, uh, you know, um, uh, the balance right now. We're working on uh, balancing and we are just a few days before starting uh, uh, the closed beta. Yeah, so we um, we will be asking, uh, you know, expert, uh, veteran, so to say, um, subsim players from the uh, subsim community, and uh, we hope that they will uh, lend us a hand in terms of balancing and uh, getting everything uh, right. Yeah, because at this point it uh, it's you know I can no longer say whether it is good or bad. It's uh, for the players to decide. Yeah, I think the balance is quite all right at this point, but you can always uh, make it better. You can always improve. You can see here our escort hunting together with us and the convoy in the distance. I think it makes for a nice shot to finish at this point. So yeah, if you have any questions, the, then I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, thank you very much. That was very fascinating to view, but unfortunately the problem is, although I would come up with more questions, we unfortunately really must come to an end. But I'm curious on what we see more of the game, and uh, thank you very much for your time. A final question is, may we publish everything we have just recorded here? Again, may, may we publish the interview and the uh, gameplay we have just recorded? Yeah, sure. Thank you.